Good morning guys, hope you're doing well. It's mid morning now, I've been filming for some other videos all morning. Now I'm starting a new vlog, just straightening my hair. Um, and then I thought I would do a little um, organisational thing. I really, really need to sort out our downstairs coat cupboard. So I know a lot of you guys love my organisational videos that I do. I asked you guys on Instagram recently, those of you that follow me on Instagram, what video videos you'd like to see. And organisational ones were really high up there. So I've got some stuff from Amazon um, that going to help me sort out my life because this cupboard is the bane of my existence at the minute so we're going to get to that in a minute um but first of all i just need to straighten my hair because our boiler still blah, 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 our boiler is still broken can you believe it so um this really nice guy who is trying to fix it for us he's had no luck it is literally on its last legs um but he managed to get us some hot water last night so i washed my hair it was like heaven, um, but now it's a massive frizz ball, so I just need to straighten it. Um, so I'm just going to pop you there, if you stay. Is that going to work? That'll do. Um, I'm just going to straighten my hair, and then I'm going to go and sort out the cupboard. <laughs> That'll do. It's not perfect, but I'm only going to clean out the cupboard, so it's fine. I'll sort it out properly later because we're going to take Archie and Elliot out for um, a little surprise pizza night because Archie loves pizza, so um, yeah, we're going to take them to Blue Water. Um, but anyway, let's go downstairs and I'll show you what's going on with this cupboard. Don't you blow rubbers on me. What are you doing? Excuse me. <laughs> Don't you blow rubbers on me. Oh, stop being so aggressive. Where are you going? Are you Come going? and tackle me. Tackle me. And you wonder why he's aggressive. Oh. <laughs> so this was what was meant to be my nice organised coat and shoe cupboard. Bearing in mind we have only lived here for two months. Look at it. It's awful. It's worse than it looks on camera. And it smells as well because everyone's just chucked their dirty shoes in there on top of coats. So, basically, what I'm going to do is just take it all out and I've got some stuff that I'm hopefully going to use to make it more organised and more easy to keep it organised as well. So, first of all, I got this shoe rack. Everything that I bought was from Amazon. Um, this was the only one I could find that I hope is going to fit in the cupboard. I just thought this would be a good idea because at the moment everyone's just chucking their shoes in. This way they can at least be on different shelves and they'll be a little bit more organised. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. I might get another one of these for the porch um, so that muddy shoes can go on that. Then I got these four seagrass boxes. These are going to go in the top. I think I might only fit two or three in. But this is where we're going to keep... Um, hello, Elia. This is where we're going to keep our hats, gloves, scarves, things like that. Like all the accessories together. And then I got these hooks. So at the moment, I don't know if you saw, but in the cupboard we've got a rail. Which seems like it would work for coats, but having to hang them up on hangers isn't working. So I'll show you what I'm planning to do with these in a minute. These are actually really reasonable. They came in um, packs of two. So I got two packs, so four hooks. And then I got these car air fresheners because, I mean, I know it sounds a bit gross, but a cupboard where there's shoes does generally smell a little bit. So there's actually four car air fresheners. These are the Jelly Belly ones, and I'm just going to put a few in there. I also have ordered some Oda Eater shoe spray. That hasn't arrived yet because it wasn't on Amazon Prime. But I'm going to spray everyone's shoes and trainers and football boots because I do live in a house full of boys. Um with that when it arrives. So hopefully the cupboard will be smelling beautiful in no time. But anyway, yeah, so my first job is to get everything out and then <laughs> they're having play fights in there. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put it all back in. I'm sorry if you don't find this kind of thing interesting, but I know some people do. So I thought I would like let you in on how I'm organizing it. And I'm really hoping this works because 
every single day I cannot get that door shut because people just keep chucking their coats in there and their shoes. So let's sort it out once and for all. gonna give the floor a quick clean and then I'm gonna get Ricky to put up all of the hooks and take down the pole that's up there because I could do it myself like girl power but he's got a power tool and it's just gonna be quicker you know this is how you know you're old. The Amazon man just delivered my, this isn't the one, I actually ordered two, how bad is that? This is the Shoal Fresh Step Shoe Spray. Maybe I just ordered this in the end. What, your feet smell that bad? No, you your feet Mine are perfectly smell fine. Bad. I got this, spraying everyone's shoes. So that's arrived now, that's good. Anyway, I just wanted to quickly shout these out as well. So Flora very kindly sent me their two limited edition Christmas scents. I just used this one in the cupboard, the winter morning one, and it's so good. There's also festive fireside, which I haven't tried yet, but I have smelt it, and it's a lot more sort of, you know, like warm, cranberry, spicy, that kind of scent, but I really love this one. But I'm trying to get to know you much better. It don't matter how much, how much time it In. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really pleased with them because they have three hooks per hook. So actually, there's 15 on each, which actually is quite a lot of hanging space. What I did also order that I forgot to mention earlier was this shoe organizer. Um, I've got everything on Amazon, so I'll link it below if you're interested in any of it. Um, I've had these before, and I used to organize the boys' baby grows and vest in them. They're really good. And what I thought is, I'll put this on the back of the door, like the inside of the door, hook it over. And then we can put in here things like their shin pads, maybe a couple of like hats and scarves that they need to get to quickly, or gloves, just thin, thin things. And also like their brush and their hair gel, things that we need to get to every day really quickly. And things that we don't want down low in drawers that Elliot keeps getting to and grabbing. So we thought that would be really handy actually. So I'm just gonna hook this on the back of the door. Nothing like you and me together And your eyes have been so hard to forget But there's something you're trying to hide There's something you're keeping inside But I'm trying to get to know you much better And this 
is the after. Ta-da! I'm so happy with it. I can't even tell you. So I'll just quickly go through it. Um, yeah, all the pegs are in. This is going to be Elliot's side. This is going to be mine and Rick's. As you can see, Rick has three coats. I have one. Elliot now has one. And Archie's going to be this side. And he's got his coat, but he's at school. And then I've got a little air freshener in here, which is already smelling so good. This is what I first ever had in my first car. So it's very nostalgic, actually. Um, then up here, we've got gloves, hats, scarves. But ones that the boys aren't wearing as much. But I guess as it gets colder... Um, I'll get them, some of the scarves down and pop them in here, which I'll show you in a sec. Then we've got shoes down here. Um, at the moment, I've just got Archie's, some of Rick's, some of mine, and then Elliot's, and then a pair of Ricky's football boots. I'm not quite sure what to do with wellies yet because they get so muddy, so I might keep them on a rack, as I said, by the front door with muddy shoes. Um, and that just might be the easiest way to do it because otherwise it's going to just end up getting full of shoes again. But there is a, a bit more room in here, I guess. And then finally, the bit I'm really pleased with is the over-the-door shoe storage. So up there, we've just got all of their shin pads. Aren't they so cute? Rick's, Archie's, Elliot's, and then goalie gloves. And then just their hairstyling stuff, a um, clothes roller, shoe spray, and then just their hats and gloves that they're wearing at the moment. So there's, again, plenty of room to fill more of them up with other stuff. So, yeah, I can already tell this is going to work so, so much better than what we had before. You can, I'll put a little quick before and after in. But, I know, yeah, I know it's only a little cupboard. It's nothing, like, majorly exciting. It's not exactly renovation before and after. But it is still really fun to do. So let me know if you enjoyed that. I actually really did enjoy it. And that has made me much happier. The only thing is, just to show you the reality, I've still got to go and put all these coats away and wash some of them. Um, that was a spare basket because they came in a pack of four. And I can only fit three up there but i'll definitely use it somewhere else i've got some rubbish oh, well done also i do have some bags i've got a baby bag which i think we're going to get rid of now because elliot's you know not really a baby anymore so he's going to have a rucksack if we can find it we don't know what we've done with it um and then archie's got his football rucksack and his school bag so i haven't really got anywhere in there to Excuse put my new hook Thanks. I haven't really got anywhere in there to put bags, but I guess they're just going to have to go on the hooks as well. So also you might have seen that there was a Dyson and a ironing board in there, but we're going to put them in our understairs cupboard now. And we've got a new hoover anyway, so we didn't really need the Dyson hanging up in there. So yeah, I've got to sort out this mess. But apart from that, cupboard is done. Yay! So we're just in time to go and pick Archie up from school. So we're going to go and get him, and then we're going to take them both to Blue Water for a little... Um, treat. Hello, oh, darling. Get Can we book? Oh, nice. What pounds? Have you had a good day? Yep. Had a non school uniform day, didn't you? Yep. No. <laughs> wow. They got my one. Wow. They're tricky ones, aren't they? Yeah, but it's a little bit like this sound, but Do it isn't, but it isn't this sound. Do right? you know it? Yeah. Quick, quick. Good boy! What did you see? What do you think? Thing on a string. Thing on a string? Yeah. It is something about that, isn't it? Ing. N ing. Do you know what? Mummy doesn't even really know how you say n ing. Ing. Look, 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 <laughs> where is it? What? It's this one. Ing. We've done that one today. Oh, you did? Yeah. A thing on a string. Thing on the string. Do you know this one? This one? No, my knees do. X. 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 We're nearly ready. It's taken us a while, but we're just about to head out the door. We're going to go to Blue Water. We're going to go to Pizza Express, aren't we? I need one. Yeah, you need another sock. It takes us a while to get ready. So we're actually working with comparethemarket.com this week as well, testing out their Meerkat Meals Reward, which is basically two for one on adult 
startup mains and desserts on loads of different restaurants which is great because it works out cheaper for us when we go out for dinner as a family because we get one of our adult meals for free. So you get it by purchasing a qualifying product from comparethemarket.com and all you have to do after that is download the app and you get Meerkat Movies which is on a Tuesday or a Wednesday and Meerkat Meals which is on a Sunday through to a Thursday and that's for an entire year and that is on breakfast, lunches and dinners. This is the app, I can't show too much of it because it shows my location um, but we already know where we're going, we're going to Pizza Express because Archie's desperate to go there but you can have a look on a map on the app and it will show you all of the restaurants local to you that do meerkat meals. Um, we know that Blue Water, there's lots of restaurants there that offer it. I also forgot to say, comparethemarket.com have challenged us to eat vegan tonight which is a bit different for us because we don't normally eat vegan. I mean I would get along with it fine but I do live in a family of meat eaters I have to say but yeah I'm happy to take that challenge so um, I think Pizza Express has a quite a good vegan um, menu there's quite a good a lot of vegan options and I think in general a lot of the restaurants on the Meerkat Meals app are quite vegan friendly which is really nice if you are vegan um, so yeah we're gonna go and check it out and see what it's like So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car I just finished up in Pizza Express, it was really, really nice I'm actually so shocked that the boys ate everything They didn't even bat an eyelid, there was no meat and it was really good, wasn't it? You you did care that there was no meat? Yeah, it was nice. It was lovely. Yeah, it was really good. So um, our waiter was really, really nice as well. So if you want to find out any more about the Meerkat Mills reward, then I'll put it in the description box below for you. You can go and find out more about how you can get it. We're just heading now to a toy shop because Archie's best friends are actually triplets and their birthday party is coming up. So, oh, I've got really bright. Yeah, their birthday party is just coming up, so we're gonna go and get them their birthday present and then we're gonna head home. Also, if you're at Blue Water, I mentioned it last year and I need to come and do this, but there's the giving tree um, and you can come and drop off presents for children of all different ages. Um, but there's always teenagers left on here. Sorry, I had to move away from the music, otherwise I'm gonna get copyrighted. But yeah, there's always teenagers left on the tree. Obviously, it's great to buy things for the little ones, but people are always going up and giving loads of little, like, babies and toddler and children toys, but there's always, like, 14, 15 and 16-year-old girls and boys on there. So, um, last year I came and gave, like, some beauty gift sets that I was very kindly like gifted by PR companies but I felt they could go to better use so I'm not kind of saying that to blow my own trumpet or anything but if you are at Blue Water like you live locally I thought it'd just be good to mention it again this year that it's there that is three triplets presents bought and wrapping paper so it's time to go home we've not long got home I was going to vlog some more of this evening but um the boys are so overtired. Archie's had a little bit of a meltdown and Elliot went straight to sleep. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here for tonight. I've just got to sit and do a bit more work. Um, 
let the dogs out to the toilet, you know, all the fun stuff, do a bit of tidying up because this room somehow is a tip again. Um, but yeah, we've had a really nice sort of homely day and then a nice family evening. Thanks everyone so much for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, then please hit the subscribe button. Everything I mentioned today, including all of the stuff I used to organise the cupboard and the Meerkat Meals reward, everything like that will be in the description box below. So please go and check it out. And I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye guys! Bye.